can art is another way to recycle your can. Instead of you know throwing them away or just leaving them at the graveyard, you just pick them up. Graffiti and the can art, it's all collective. It all comes in together like as one. I'll, I'll have the can. I'll probably get like a shovel or something like that. Uh, hit it as many times as I can until the aerosol bleeds out. After I let the aerosol bleed out, I basically uh, get some pliers and uh, maybe like an outer wrench or something like that, poke a hole in it. Uh, what we're gonna do is get, get your needle nose pliers, we're gonna stick them in, spine it as you can, and uh, like I said, open that hole. As you can see, you have a hose right here. So you wanna go ahead and discard your straw. And there's also a marble, so you want to go ahead and discard those marbles too. Alright, so you have the cap. You basically put the, the liquid aerosol inside the cap to get this kind of consistency. So what you want to do is you want to use anything and everything to put into your piece of art. See if I can get some, you know, plant life or some insects, whatever it is. Just look for it, you know. It's a moth. Bring something that was dead back alive. It doesn't take much to paint. Some say, you know, connect paint to canvas. And, you know, that's one of our models, you know, just connect paint to canvas. <laughs> And this is just the start for can art, as galleries are providing the platform for the movement's next jump. As far as, as far as training goes, that's what you have to do. You train yourself every time. You have to keep it, you know, progress, and stay consistent with your paint, and everything, you know, follows through. The orange one, I, it was, it's called the jitters. I call it jitters because, you know, when you're getting up, you have those stomach butterflies, whatever it is, and then, uh, in your head, all you're thinking is, you know, graphing and graphing and graphing. So I, I call it the jitters, and I have some, uh, some red flames coming out that I made with clay. Uh, hit it with the base coat of like some burgundy orange, and then uh, and then topped it with like a bright orange, and it was cool like that, mixing colors, everything. I extracted everything that was inside. I put some circuits in there. I broke open a speaker, a speaker and a what was it? An amplifier. I broke open both of those, and as soon as I did that, I took out like all the circuits and. And then I had the speaker, and then I posted the speaker on the side of it, got some wires, and I put it all through and then glued them all together. It's going to develop you know, to a worldwide vision, and the cans there, inside, those, those are worth like $250 a piece, you know, maybe $150 a piece. Bottom line, it's all art. It's all art, bottom line, it's all art. The inspiration just comes from within, honestly, because I, the, the way I see it is that my mind is, you know, racing constantly, so if I don't put it down right now, it might never, ever, or I don't mean to say never, but hardly ever be put down like it should have been at that point in time. Make something out of it, it'll be.